the last thing that I want to touch on in Unit 6 is issues of labor unions. Now, if a union is interested in coming into a particular industry and unionizing or unionizing a particular shop, then what kind of a business are they looking for in order for this to be effective? Let's look at two different types of markets and I'll show you what happens when the unions step in. Okay, so we're going to start with price and wage, money and labor. And in the first market, let's see, we'll use a more elastic demand for labor. And in the market on the right hand side, we'll have a more inelastic demand for labor. And supply looks basically the same. Now, from our starting point, equilibrium quantity, equilibrium wage, equilibrium quantity, equilibrium wage. Now, So we have two different shaped demand curves in our labor markets. Now, when a union comes in, what they're going to do is drive up wages. Wages, benefits, they're going to make labor more expensive because that's the benefit to the worker of having a union is that they have an advocate who's going to push the wages up and get them a better deal from the business. That's one of the advantages of having the union as a collective bargaining tool. So, when we add the union, we add the union wage, let's say we have a big jump in wages, we'll go up here, and we want this to be the same all the way across both markets, you can really see the difference. So this is now the wage with the union. Wage with the union, wage at market equilibrium. Now, what's going to happen is, in this market, where you have the more elastic demand curve, when the wage is driven up, we see the quantity of labor employed because of the union drop quite a bit. Now that's not what the union's going to want. What they want is a lot of workers making better money and thus belonging to the union. So this is not a business that the union would have any interest in organizing. Because this is not the effect that they want it's not the thing that will make the union prosper and keep workers interested. Because if a lot of people are laid off, they're not going to want to keep the union. That's going to be bad for them. As opposed to the market with the very inelastic demand for labor, meaning that for this type of industry that's probably more labor intensive, they can't get away with letting a lot of workers go. They don't have a lot of other options. Let's say that um, it's not easy to switch between workers and machines, for example. If it's very labor intensive, it's labor intensive. They've got to hire as many people as they need. So in this market, with the same union wage, our equilibrium quantity is right here. We lost a very tiny bit. on our horizontal axis. So in this market over here, that's a number of workers laid off. In this market, it's just this little bit right here. This is the market, 
Excuse me a minute. Got too happy with drawing my brownie faces. This is the market where the union's like, woohoo, we're all over it. Because this is what the union wants. It's not what the business wants. Because suddenly they have this huge jump in their costs for what they have to pay their workers. And they can't let very many of them go because they're necessary to the business. And you know that because of the shape of this curve. So if you are a labor union, what type of industry do you want to get into? The answer is the one with the inelastic demand curve because you're going to have much fewer workers laid off than if there's an elastic demand. That's one of the keys to collective bargaining and driving up wages. That unless you want the labor union to look very bad for the workers, you want to stay in this side of the market. 